Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Schwartz's Journey to Legendary. That's right, after three years of retirement, I am going to try to climb the ranks to Legendary status. Uh, even at my best, in my prime, I only managed to get there one month. One time was I ever actually a Legendary player, and uh, so that just tells you how absolutely mediocre I am. But enough preamble, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the game. We can talk as we go. You're here for the gameplay, not for me rambling, although you will get both momentarily. As you can see, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with, um, it's called the Warrior. That's this color combo right here. It's a very simple, simple deck to play. And let's see, who am I going? Oh, and hey, a mirror match right off the jump. How fantastic is that? All right, let's uh, let's greet our friend here. Our, uh, it can really be hard to find matches now. This game is largely def defunct, so. Um. Hail, friend. All right, well, um, not great, but not horrible. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how we get on. I have no fear of you. Oh, that's a great card. That's a great card. I have that in some of my other decks, but not in this one because it, like I said, it doesn't have energy. Aha! Nothing will hold me back. Really cheap. That's what always would get me, because that's a legendary card, the the one that he played. Um Okay, fine, turd muffin. That's alright. I I I like I don't know, I think we're both uh aggressive, but neither one of us are really playing aggressive right now. Um I just don't want him to start snowballing, so we'll we'll just see how how things go. This is definitely not. Yeah, this is a pretty much a mirror match. I've got that exact same card. This is this is going to be this is going to be interesting. We'll see how it how it plays. This is you know. Oh, oh I do. <laughs> I lied. There she is. <laughs> I've got her myself. Wow. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played. Um, so yeah, uh, this this is going to be interesting. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. 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 We stand united. Yeah. Yep, this is this is so you can have a mirror match where it's just the same color combos, but this is actually a mirror match as in we both are playing the exact same kind of game. And uh yeah, it's it's kinda kinda trippy. But you know what I'm gonna do here? Do a little bit of this. There's nowhere they can the hunt out. That a little bit of that. Oh, I was planning on doing a little more commentary, like as to exactly what I'm doing, but I figure if you've found this particular video, you, you were searching for it in particular, and uh, you don't necessarily need me to walk you through it. It's such a great card. Um, ooh, I forgot, I have that too? Oh my gosh. I, I really have no idea what I'm doing with this deck, to be honest. Oh, a prophet, first rune prophecy. Just, if, if you don't know, that's, that's Garbo. That's just not a lot of fun. Um, oh boy, you know. Let's just... You know what, we're just going to race the heck out of these folks. I should have played her first when I broke that rune and I would have got some extra points. With Burn and Pillage though, we actually have a chance to turn the tide. That's, that, that, is a, that is not a card that you're supposed to play a lot of or, or in the deck at all. But against a racing, uh, in a race like this, it actually could work out. Um, because... Won't let me get my, have my fun, will you? Because, um, while I have a lane over here, ooh, that's a good one. All right, well, I've got to, I've got to do this first. Uh, five, yeah, I'm not gonna. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Misplay. You probably saw it just as well as I did. Doggone it. That was dumb. <sighs> oh, oh, yeah, no, that's still dumb. All right, well, I think we're in a good, we're in good shape here. Unless he's got uh, some charge creatures, I think we'll be able to pull this one off. I should have played, I should have played this fellow here um, before I killed my other orc. That was a misplay. He would have come down. It's a six, I think. Oh, there he's got the charge. Let's see, does he have, does he have seven more points from hand? Oh, nope, he's so, yeah, I got him on his heels. He's going to try to whittle me down there. Okay, yeah, I, th I think I think we got this. We're good. I have no fear of you, cowardly skeever. All right, I need nine. That's five, seven, eight. That's not enough. I'm not gonna do it yet. Um, four and six, yeah. Face me, milk drinker. Uh, here we go again. Oh, we'll have to see if he's got the charge at eight with eight. I don't think he he's got he's got anything that can get the job. Done. Okay, good game, good game. 
jumping into another one. We'll see what we've got. Oh boy. All right, so this looks like it's probably going to be the very aggravating kind of a, of a control deck. That's typically what these decks are. If it ends up being like a mid, I, I, will, I will give them props. But this is going to be a game where I will know very soon whether or not I am going to be able to pull this off. Um, if typically in a matchup like this, if they end up being a control deck as it seems they are, then if I have not got them down within 10, oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're a control deck. Um, so you're going to see a lot of removal. They're not going to be attacking me. They're just going to be kind of sitting back on their haunches, turtling up as it were, and uh, trying to maintain a health total and uh, run me out of cards. Really, that's kind of how it goes. So I'm expecting him to get zapped with a lightning bolt or a reverberating strike. Reverberating, is that what it's called? I think it's called that. Speak. Okay, now that was the other option. Hmm. Let's see here. Yep, I think I'll do this. A little bit of that. All right. If they have an ice storm, next turn they can use it, which pretty much means I'm screwed. Ooh, that's very helpful. Close ranks, let nothing through. Like I said, if he's got an ice storm. I guess he doesn't have to have one. I, I don't think he has one. If he did, he would not have done that. Sniveling coward will taste blood. I could have played the orc headhunter there, but I uh, I'm gonna need my charge. I'm gonna need my charge for later on the later in the game to close it out. And against a card like that. So uh, I can't play those two. They will pay the blood price. Scorch stump it. I will do that. Sniveling coward. And they get a prophecy, which really sucks. But what can you do? Which one are you gonna? Yeah, there you go. You're gonna kill the one that's still gonna take points off. Yeah, that's the only good thing about that. They had to do it. So I've got, I've got uh, four from hand. I don't think they're gonna be able to uh, to rally. Why didn't they attack? This guy, he would have won. Yeah, okay. A hard-fought victory. All right, my commentary stinks. I know that because <laughs> as soon as I, I shift my focus from talking to the gameplay, my gameplay improves. But then I know it, I'm, I realize I'm not talking. So this may be a failed experiment. But you know what? I'm just gonna have fun with the video. Uh, so yes, if you are first time to this channel, do not expect <laughs> this is this is not the quality of uh, content you can expect. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into the next game and hope that it's still gonna record, just to keep the pace up. This probably will be the last one. I could do this for a while, but like I said, well, maybe I will. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to sort it out. But part of this is is kind of a growth thing for me to be able to talk talk, and then I think I've already I've already said that. I'm repeating myself now. Uh, gosh. Well, nothing for it. This is going to be a garbo uh, video, unfortunately. But hey, if you know, if you wanted to see some Tesla gameplay, if you haven't seen any in a long time, hopefully this is giving you a little a little something to watch. And hopefully the commentary will get better as I go. I think I think this is a good way to keep my to keep my mind exercised. Not not just in playing the game. I mean that has its merits, of course. But oh, and here we go, another another um, control deck. Let's see if uh, if we can come out firing like I did with the last one. Um, but to be able to focus on gameplay, but then also provide worthwhile commentary. You don't really realize how hard it is when you hear uh, you know commenters. Well, I guess. Football commentary, uh, like sports commentators don't have it because they're not, they're, all they're doing is commentating. They don't have to worry about playing and talking at the same time. But, you know, you see a lot of YouTube streamers and, and Twitch streamers who are playing games and talking. And it really, there is, there is an art to both, to being able to do both. And I'm a little, little discouraged with myself just because I was hoping I'd be able to do both oh, naturally, but hey, -o. hey -o, uh, but you know, uh, it's a growth, it's a growing experience. And yeah. 
the waters. Yeah, I, I'll tell you, it always helps when you know the other person is is friendly about it. Even if you're gonna lose, it's kind of nice. Uh, here, yeah, I don't want to do this, but the battle shall be out. I, w I really want to get Mighty Ally down there. I know he's gonna draw some uh, removal, but th that I just couldn't. I can't sac make that kind of sacrifice for a. One cost card that just didn't seem right to me. Oh, well, there's a card I don't see very often. I think he's uh, he gives draw power, but so yeah. So I'm kind of in a quandary here. Well, not really. I guess I can. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go go for broke. I mean, th this is this is what the aggressive deck is for. You just I, I wanted to trade and get him off the board, but. You do that, you lose all your momentum, and they can do an ice storm this turn, which would wipe out the entire board, and leave his character, his character, his card, his guy. So okay, so we didn't have ice storm. We're very lucky. Uh, oh, oh, spoke too soon. You can't defeat me. Nope. Okay. And that's a that's a whole other thing right there. But uh, ooh, he's clutch, coming in clutch. So, but I don't. I don't want to waste it. Hmm. Hmm. I can do three and six. I can do three. No, I mean, this... I'm going to have other draw cards. And I don't have... I can't play this and another one. So I might as well just go ahead and do this. Get it out of the way. They will pay the blood price. I'll rip you apart. You're going down. I do have some reach in the war cam or or cam war <laughs> the warhammer and him. So that's six from hand. You can't defeat me. And I'm gonna need every bit of it to get to through that. Don't hit me again. It's not a good idea. There you go. Ooh, that's a great card to save. That'll save me. Oh, I don't have seven magicka. Oh, that sucks. Well, um. That's two, that's seven, that's not enough. I can play these two though. So I'll do that. Close ranks, let nothing through. Scorch them. Again, Ice Storm really screws me over. I do have him under five, so of revenge, unless he has uh, cast into time that will get rid of him without triggering the last gasp effect, which is dealing five damage. So unless he heals, or unless he's going to, uh, and is going to be able to wipe the board, can't do both at the same time. He can wipe my board, but he won't be able to heal, and then once I play Sower, if he doesn't have that particular removal, it should be the game. But from how they're playing right now, it looks like, looks like I've got him. Just with seven magic, there's only so much they can do to neutralize all of those cards. So I've just been getting lucky. Uh, Ice Storm, for those of you who don't know it, it's, uh, it's a card that deals uh, six damage, or three damage to the entire board, including their own players, so it would have wiped, it would wipe out the entire board. But for them, who has, as you can see, one, two, three, I, okay, so they're, I mean, they're making a good play of it, but they just can't, they can't finish it all off. So that'll be the game. Maybe. Well, they got two left. I don't think they can do three damage with two. No, I, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. The water okay, they put up a good showing, but unfortunately for them, a hard fought victory. They quit the breakthrough, and that's gonna do it. Cool. None of these look really great for early on. This, well, we'll see what 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 uh, what the has in store. What uh, p p p p p. p. <laughs> you gotta have fun with yourself right now. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, these people are, like, th this is the most friendliest, you know, interaction that I've had playing this game. Usually you can't, like, you'll say hello and they totally ignore you. So I always make it a point to say hello back. I never want to be rude like that, but I'll, I'll be honest, I also don't, uh, I sometimes forget to initiate it, as you've seen. That's not a common thing to see. Okay, that, this is this is a great way to start. They do, now they do have charge. The, the, this um, these, this color combo, I think it's House Redoran is what it's called. They do have charge, so I'm actually being very stupid playing them in the field lane. Field lane has no cover, and there is one of them. 
but I'd already played. I mean, it was it was gonna it would have happened in that lane anyway. Um, you know, the silent guard with you. Arguably, I should have played the Warhammer there because more damage and would have made the most use of my my Magicka there. I know a short. Ah, well, here we go. This is what I was talking about. I'll clear up. It's fine. Um. Oh man, why didn't we have six? Doggone it. So you can do. No, none of those. None of these are great options. I don't want to leave her alone because they're just going to put more weapons on her. You're going down. So I'm sure he's going to get removed. They've got another charge creature that's going to come in and, and there you go and put a weapon on him. I know. A or, okay. Well, that works. All right. An unfortunate mistake. Yeah. I'm expecting some kind of removal here. here we make oh, stand. okay. Unfortunately, sir. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll I've got clear. some answers for you. Things aren't looking great right now. I'm gonna say thank you, but usually when my and historically my when somebody compliments you, it means that they're about to screw you over really bad. <laughs> so I'm not expecting this to go well. I've got breakthrough, so I don't, that's not a problem. Still got five magicka. We'll see what they can do with it. Unless they're gonna give an item, I don't think it's gonna to be too problematic. I mean, there, there's, there's going to be some creature with a rally that's that's going to do some pretty significant damage there. I'm fortunate that I've got the uh, the orc warhammer. Okay, they, this is this is this is good. And I'm going to keep that one in the hand just in case for the wood orc headhunter, headhunter. Um, he, I need that to trigger. I don't think they're going to attack me here. They don't want to give me any more cards. We'll see what they have to bring to bear against what I have. Hesitation either means that they're screwing with me or they're really just trying to figure out a way out. Mm. It doesn't look like they've got removal. I mean, yeah, I th if they had removal, they... Nope, there you go. I don't know why that took so long for them to figure out that that was the right course of action to take. Yeah, I, I know what deck they're playing. This is actually, it's a fun deck, but it's just, Fortune it's very hard to pull off. Now, if they've got, I don't think, well, if they have another, uh, another one of these, one of the, another Forerunner, and they can put a, a weapon on it of some kind, they can drain themselves out of this predicament. Otherwise, it's just a matter of me drawing my charge. Oh, wow. What is he going to be? So he's going to bring a charge creature back to take out one of them. Or a guard. If he, if he does the guard, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, okay, yep, that's that's not good. I think we can still win. If that's if that's all he's got, I think we still have it. Yep. All we need is two. Fortune favor me. A hard-fought victory. Impressive. Oops. That was a mistake. Yep, I miscalculated. I forgot that when I killed the the two two, uh, I lost that one extra damage. So I screwed myself. Well, I didn't screw myself. There was nothing else I could do. I just miscalculated. We'll see if that costs me the game. Uh, you know, they're both in shadow suite and they both have breakthrough. So all he can't summon a guard. I don't think that can withstand both of them. So unless he has removal and a big guard, I think we've got this. Let's knock some heads. Okay. 
That's not a problem. Oh, I hate Mundustone. Do not. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, good. I, I mean, it could have given him guard. There we go, yeah. Mundustone is another one I, I, I have been... I would be sorely tempted to um, preemptively quit. Um, just because it's such a trash card. It's bad enough you have RNG in a game in general in terms of what you draw and everything, but when you've, essentially a Mundustone, it just assigns random keywords to any creature that you play on the board. So it could, that, that card that he put down, it didn't, uh, I, well, I think it gave it breakthrough or something. If it had given it guard, it's a card that doesn't have guard because a card like that at that cost would be overstatted with guard. If, if it had guard, well, it wouldn't be overstatted, it would be, it would be overpowered, It'd be, it would, it, the value would be too much. So you play Mundus, and yes, Mundus does cost four, but when you're already, when you've got, you know, eight, ten Magicka to work with, you can partner that with one or two other cards, and it, it's not as much of a hit. It's still an investment, but that could make those, the next two cards you play, it could triple their value. I, and I just don't like it. There's a lot of people who are like, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect the game. I very rarely have ever seen that played when it doesn't have an impact on the game. Um, but, you know. What are you gonna do? And and you and it, I mean it can just transform it. It gives and it can usually give it gives my opponent usually the one keyword they need. It could have given him drain if they had one more turn. Would have given him drain and then, you know, then uh, then I can't back them down. Uh, or would have given him like I said if it gave him guard, the game would be over essentially uh, unless I could draw one of my charge creatures, which I didn't really draw that many of them after the first hand. Anyway, uh, no need to talk about uh, that too much. But uh, the gameplay is going well. I think the commentary is still rough, but. I'm trying to I'm trying to give you guys some attention and 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 talk and talk uh, talk through as much of this as possible while still. Did I play? Is this the one I played before? Maybe you didn't see it. Uh, this is either a rematch or it's the exact same color combo. We'll see. We'll be able to tell by what card he plays, what crazy Isaac plays in the first couple turns. It could be an invade. In which case, I would be sorely tempted to just up and quit, but I don't know, should I do that or not? Eh, yeah. We start, you oh, I'll say hello as well. Alright, crazy. Okay, cool. Friendly book. Oh, this is invade. Yeah. So that pretty much means uh, this is this is going to be a very, this is going to be a race to the end. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, this will probably be the last game of the day. I usually just quit these, but since I don't really have a a loss to show you, this will probably be it. No matter how far ahead it seems like I'm going to get, the synergy with Invade is just too much. And, uh, yeah, it's it's just, it's it's a really horrible deck. It's typically what, I mean, I hate to say it because it sounds, it sounds disgruntled, but it's typically what people play uh, for an easy win. And then there's a the prophecy. Yeah, this is. I might just go ahead and. Yeah, there, there's, there's. No way. Well, you know, I'll finish it just for you. I would not finish if it was on my own. I would just call it right now. But uh, just because I am, you know, I'm gonna, I'm going to show you that uh, how just how how garbage invade is. If you don't know, watch, watch how this snowballs. Watch what happens here. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 pretty much done at this point. Well, I mean, it is done at this point, but. Um, we stand united. I am ready to join you the circle. See, you think, think I got it pretty good, but what's going to happen is they're going to attack, and the next two cards they play are going to get like seventy-five keywords, and I'm done. Not seventy-five, but they're going to get a lot. It, it's going to be very difficult. It, it, right now, it looks like I've got a huge advantage. That's gonna go away in, in an instant. You watch. See, there we go. What, he's gonna get keywords. Watch, regenerate. That's not a bad one. Could have been worse. I mean, if that's all we got. But if I mean, if. Speak, citizen. Okay, charge would have been really bad there. Now, see, they should have attacked first. That was a misplay on their part. So, we could still pull this off. All right, and let that be a lesson to you. Um, why you don't quit the game right off the jump? I will say now we are we are in a gated. This is a gated game, meaning if I win this, I get to go to the next level. I'll reach level eight. 
and usually those games are the are the hard ones. Um, those are the ones where suddenly just everything seems to go wrong. I know I said that about Invade. I'm not saying that to be melodramatic or try to you know up the up the ante up the stakes, but I've had many many times where I've I've kind of had a quick burn to the very end, and then I get shut down right it's before I can move in. And then if you lose. You, the next game, you don't get to go in. You, you go back, or you you miss a, you lose a step. So you, if you if I lose here, I have to win two more games in order to get to the next rank, and so on and so forth. So uh, let me let me say a little of this uh, person here. Um, really hard to say how this is going to go. I think it's going to be a mid range deck that we're playing against. They're going to hand to Dagoth if that comes down. Unless I have a silence, it's pretty much over. Right now, there it's very defensive. There, they've got the ideal, um, the ideal um, answers. So obviously, we've only got two damage. They're going to have two damage on us. Like I said, if Hand of Dagoth, it's a Hand of Dagoth is a is a awarded. Um, um, it's awarded drain creature. If they if they come out with that, then I'm totally hosed. Um, I could do Garnag, or I could do two Captains. I think I want the bigger body. You owe a debt. We must protect the Night Mother. So we'll see if he's got if he's got the magic card this turn or not. If he does, it pretty much cancels out the Sower. So he's definitely going to take out the six three. He's looking for an answer I for the four four. She's going to give him a ward. Okay. Good, good heads up play there. Uh, it's definitely, it's not as bad as Solar Revenge. That, that's, or not Solar Revenge. That's, that's what I have. All right, Burn and Pillage. Actually, it's not, it's not a typical inclusion, but that could actually be good. So it deals, you can see, it deals two damage right now to every creature in this lane. If I break, if I can break those, you know, two more runes, um, which I'll break one here unless he has some kind of shenanigan, then pretty much I can, I can wipe out. Any opposition he puts in front of me. Alright, so that's gonna. Okay, wisely choosing not to. Ooh! It's a good one. I don't know if I want to play him right now, though. Nine. No other drain, no other charge. I'll wait. We start uniting. No one gets through. This could be the game right here. If one of them survives and I've got a clear lane forward. Right now I've got yeah. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Okay, that's not ideal. But good game. No one gets through. Come on, man. All right, and there we go. Like I said, the, the, this deck, anybody who's played the game will tell you, orcs are just a solid deck. They're, it's, it's a great, it's a great, uh, it's a great set to play with. Um, and they're cheap. If you noticed, a lot of those were premium. So there we go. I got to the next, uh, got to the next level there. Uh, pretty, pretty easy. Now granted, I'm at rank nine, so I'm playing people that either have also not played in a long time or were relatively new to the game. All the decks look pretty good for the most part. I would be surprised if they didn't have the cards that we didn't see. They just didn't draw them. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the game. I will leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching. If you stuck with me this long, let me know if you want to see more. Otherwise, uh, I'll throw some more up there whenever I, I get the hankering. But you take care. Talk to you later.